is making some noise. Oh, down satellite. Oh, train analyzer. No way. No way. Get out of here. I got a train analyzer off that. All right. Welcome back to Astroneer with your host, Midnight. And we're playing patch 158. And I have the hiccups. Can you believe it? Uh, okay. I built the truck. I built the truck. And we seem to be having some problems. I I also found... <laughs> these hiccups are going to kill me. I also found the wide mod, which is awesome. Yeah, wide mod. We'll go ahead and play with that later. It is very cool. It is just wider than the regular one. But the problem with the truck is... And let's see. I, I don't know. I, I did some recording last night. Maybe I'll show that recording. But I got in the truck. And... I'm sorry, I haven't been able to get rid of these hiccups in like 15 minutes. And you get out of the truck. Okay, I, I don't know. Maybe it was me last night. Maybe it was the way the game loaded. I don't know. But every time I got got out of the truck, it like bounced all over the place. It was, it was absolutely crazy. It didn't make any sense at all. So some of the things that I found in that video was I found the wind turbine. Which is great. We needed a wind turbine. Of course, it's not running. Um, it hardly ever runs. Every once in a while, I'll, get, I'll see it spinning. But it was kind of interesting. I decided to build up to this hill. Because I don't know how they, they do the physics in wind. I think when I was doing like the arid planet or the radiated planet, which has a lot of wind, I found my base. I think it was the arid planet since it has those balls. I had my base in kind of like a little um, depression in between two hills. And I put wind turbines down there and I noticed they were never spinning. And so I had to build my way up to a hill to actually get some wind. So I thought that that was the case here. So I built up to the hill, put the wind turbines up there, never spun. I don't know. Go figure. I have no idea. But, but now that the truck is not acting weird, uh, I can go down into this cool mine that I found. I had a hard time. I keep ca calling it a mine. It's a cave. I can go down into this cool cave that I found. Um, I found it earlier, and then when I recorded the next video, which I, I might cut it, cut in some of it, I had a hard time finding it, so I had to Believe it or not, I had to watch the video, find a land, a landmark, and then and then kind of figure out where I was. So I built this little pathway down. I had two. The other one was too steep. The uh, the other, this one I built for the truck. It's kind of interesting that stalactites and stuff are starting to grow when they weren't there last time. This was the other one. I, I thought it was too steep. It might have been too steep, but we'll, we'll get we'll end up getting rid of it. But we'll go ahead and explore. We we oh there was um before I go this way and before I fall in this hole. No, I fell fell in the hole and I'm stuck. Am I stuck? Oh, I'm free. Let's see if I can get out. I could probably get out of that. I should fill that in. That's a perfect time to show you guys the wide. Mod. Let's see if I can get out of this thing. Get a little power. There we go. Okay. Spin this around. Let's have some lights on it. On this hole. And coming here, I'll show you the wide mod. I have it attached. It's uh, it's it's fantastic. I'm never taking it off. It's this wide mod. And it's just you know, hey, it's it's wide, dude. I don't know what to say. It's uh, when you use it, it's much bigger than the normal size one. And the only thing that I don't care for about it is that it seems like they're going to need to do a little bit more work on it because it's not quite as smooth. Oh, man. <laughs> I should really stop until my hiccups are gone, but I only have a limited time to record today. So this is the time that I'm doing it and be damned the hiccups. Um... <laughs> there goes another one, and uh, yeah, so it's not as smooth. It, it doesn't it doesn't flatten out very well. If you pick a a vertice, it doesn't flatten out everything to the vertice. As you can see here, th this should all be uniformed. It should it should all be flat. And if I was to flip over to the other mod, the standard, the normal, 
you would see that it's flat. You can see that this was pretty much built with the normal and it looks very smooth. There is uh, some minor variations, but not as much as the wide mod has variations. Oh, I'm running out of power. Luckily I picked up some. Okay, that's a dead power. Is this gonna be a dead power? No, this was taking from that. Is this a dead power? Yeah, that, this is a dead power. I really wish they would fix that, that defect. Or whatever you want to call it. I don't know if it's a defect. Okay, so we came down in here. We found this little thing. It had a little research next to it. And then we came down here. And we found this one. Which is kind of cool. This is actually Voyager. Which I thought was really neat. I've never seen Voyager. So Sputnik we found on the top. Sputnik is sitting on the top. But this is Voyager. You know it's Voyager because there is the disc. And you can hear the signal, right? So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so if we go down in here a little bit more, well, let's just make sure I have some. I should probably get some backup power. Oh yeah, I found the thruster. I don't know if I'm ever gonna use this thing. Let's put it on there though. Um, oh, excuse me, it's hiccups are murder. Let's come over here. Uh, I'm just kind of looking for power right now. I think maybe there was a research but power is more important to me. Oh, the wind is blowing down here when I move, which is nice. Um, there's another thruster, which... Okay, one was kind of enough, to be honest with you. Let's go ahead and gather this stuff up. Maybe break this down a little bit. Oh, I really want the inhib inhibitor mod. Okay, sometimes these have research underneath them. Other times, not so much. But let's see if we can find any research underneath these guys. Since it's a lot, it's a big group. I was hoping that maybe we would discover one research, but uh, not so much. There's something over here, though. Let's go get some oxygen. As I hiccup in your ear. Somebody say boo. Something down here. This is weird. Um, let's get away from this one a little bit. That looks like it has a research too. Something there. Sure enough, a uh, green one. I think I might have popped the green one again. They they did implement that you you can get more research off of popping them. But there's something. Oh, it's a ball. Yeah, it's a ball. It's a ball. For those of you who have not seen this ball, if you go back and watch some of their first dev, um, oh, is it? They were live streams. I think they were live streams. They're dev live streams. They tell you they implemented this ball so that they can um, test some features. It's kind of a, a, a testing tool for them. It's got lighting involved in on it, so I think that they were... Maybe seeing how things moved and how things lit up and yeah, it wasn't really, so far it doesn't really do anything. So I don't know if they're ever going to implement anything into this with this ball. It does attach to stuff though. You can attach it to your ship and, and to your base and gives off light. This goes down pretty far. There's really nothing but one piece of research down here, so I want to go get that. It's a little far tunnel for this little piece of research, but I'm going to go in there. Uh, for those of you guys watching my other series that I normally do, um, sorry, Astroneer's kind of um, flipped my schedule a little bit, but I'm going to be getting back to that. Also, also, we're doing a Banish challenge for you folks that are fans of Banished. I'm having a Banished challenge. I have um, five, well, four, four other players have committed to play. And um, I'm hoping to get my fifth one today. But then that's it. Total of six. We've got three guys against three girls. It's not really guys against girls. It's just person against person. And... Uh, 
Banish is a city building game for those of you who don't know it. Uh, you could do like a lot of decorations and you could build up your city pretty cool. It's kind of a survival uh, city building game. It's, pre it's, it's pretty tough in and of itself in its, um, in, its, in its vanilla state. If I can try to keep talking to you guys while hiccuping through this. In its vanilla state, it's very challenging to keep your people alive. But once you figure out how to keep your people alive, then you're you're kind of okay, but you you wind up battling you know disease and and um, gosh everything else, to, uh, famine and all that stuff to try to keep your city alive. If you don't have enough food, your your city's toast. So we are playing a hard mode, and uh, not only are we trying to keep our people alive, but we're also um, going to be voted on the best. The best looking city. So we're playing uh, Colonial Charter, which is a mod. It's a great mod. Ooh, there's a, another Sputnik down here. Colonial Charter, which is a great mod. It, it's a really fantastic add-on to the game. It adds a ton of um, additional features to the game. Buildings and, and the like. And um, we're going to be we're going to be playing that in hard mode yeah so that should be interesting we'll see hard mode's pretty hard you really have to focus on getting your resources in place immediately because you get nothing to start off with uh, very few very very little to start off with not nothing all right i think uh, let's go back and and open up these i want to leave that one spot open for power just in case I have a challenge getting out of here. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't pass that. I'm going the wrong way. This is another. Wow, this this thing's got a ton of oh, I'm st stuck. A ton of down little ships and stuff. It's a little nothing to this. I don't th I don't think is making some noise. It'll down satellite. Oh, train analyzer. No way. No way. Get out of here. I got a train analyzer off that. <gasps> that's a madness. Oh, wow. That's great. Uh, too bad it didn't give me the other tool. Is there any on the bottom? No. Kind of looks like there's something on the inside, doesn't there? Nope. Okay, that was just how it modeled out at that moment in time. Well, now I'm kind of full. I am going the wrong way, though. I need to remember that because I'm going to get lost down here. Matter of fact, I don't, I don't want to get lost down here. Let's go back the other direction. We need to put some tethers down here, it's just so we have some light. We can figure out which way is home. Come on up this ramp, which was uh, built for the rover. Come up this ramp, which is also built for the rover, but this should work right here. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Made it. Sorry, sorry about the hiccups. Apologize. We've got to leave soon. About 20 minutes before the, uh... Picking up the kids from soccer practice. Yeah. Kids are soccer heads, which is great. Great sport. Mm, we can we can hold another. Let's take this research. I've only opened up one of these. There's another one over here. I'm, I'm going to take these. I'm going to defer to the resources. Ooh, researches. Wow. There's more researches. Everywhere. Didn't I dig this up? Yo, these are regenning. No way. These are regenning. Oh, man. I shouldn't be chopping down these trees. I've never seen this one. That is pretty dumb. Okay. Word to those for people who haven't done this. If you leave these trees up, they regenerate. Why? I, why do I know that they regenerate? Because I've um, or, already picked this area clean. So I know for a fact 
We'll leave that thruster there. Leave that thruster there. Do I have a compound? No, no compound. Before I put that thruster on there, let's let's power up a little bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it all, but that's all right. Okay, let's stick that on the tail end. And let's see, let's uh let's run this thruster over. I have a beacon over here, right? There's something over here. Why am I running weird? Okay. We're gonna put this so I'd see it. In the middle of a resin field? Yeah, that that might work. Since there's no I'll find it again, I think. All right, but this should be good. We should be able to find something in here. Let's go this way to the base. If I don't find that thruster again, oh well. See, these trees I chopped, I chopped down, they had research in them. But these other trees back here had research. Maybe I've just found a new area of trees. I, I don't know, maybe. Maybe they don't regen. Maybe I'm just talking, talking out of my backside here. It felt like they regen. Completely did. Maybe they didn't. Maybe we just found a new gr group of trees. All right, here we go. Let's get out. Let's pop some of these babies. Oh, my t wind turbine's finally running over there. In the distance. Ooh, another research. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, the inhibitor. Yes. Oh. Oh, man, the inhibitor is so worth it. What do I need? Copper. Okay, I'll find some copper. The inhibitor is totally worth totally worth it. Oh, another research. Nice. Oh, a spaceship. Not crane. Okay, getting there. I need to build a couple more of those. Ooh, a battery would be... You know what? A battery would be nice. How about a battery? Fuel condenser? Okay, that works too. Oh, I just ran out of power over there. Yeah, turkey head. How many more of these I have? Three? Yep, three. I've never seen this one. I want to pop this one. I do have some power, though. Let's start powering it. Uh, let's put that down there. That should fill that, that one up. Okay, what are we going to get? Power cells. Ugh. Stinky power cells. Storm? Oh man. I'm enjoying myself here. Stinky storm. Train analyzer? I'm not really ready for the train analyzer yet. I'll be ready for the train analyzer when I want to do some painting. I don't really want to do any painting right now. I'd rather have the inhibitor up and running so that I can clear the road. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Can't for the life of me get rid of these hiccups. It's crazy. Let me try holding my breath.
Okay, let's see if I got rid of it. I forgot which of these organics give. Not all organics give. Not all organics are givers. These brown ones are, though. Nice, okay, I got a couple organics on me. Oops, I missed that one. Okay, well, we have some power. Just go ahead and turn the, oops, let's turn the generator on. I have to get me a couple generators too. I got the generator, that was in episode one, I think, which is great. All right, let's put this research on. Let's find out what this one is all about. What do we got? Oh yes, another research. We've been lucky this time around. Another research item. A battery. Oh, oh, sacre bleu. Yes, a battery. Where are you, baby? Oh no, personal battery. Personal battery. Uh, okay, not that excited. I mean, it's good. It's good. Personal battery is good. I almost think that the personal battery is kind of useless because you, you wind up finding uh, downed astroneers. And so, you know, there's always a battery on them and there's always well not always oxygen but there's usually a battery or oxygen on them oh another one each one of those gave me a re uh, well except for one i got a power cell on one shuttle okay i found the shuttle that's good i guess having the shuttle's okay would have preferred the spaceship but hey beggars can't be choosers take the shuttle any day now we can leave this rock all right, let's let's go. Let's go back and gather some more research. There was some more research in those trees over there. Um, and let's get the inhibitor running. I need to get some copper. I know where copper is. I'd have to go back into the cave, which is fine. I can do that. Why don't I do that really quick? Actually, that'll be the first thing. Jump into the cave. Where's my... Where's my beacon? Oh, my beacons are way over there. Yeah, okay, so I was wrong. The, this, the, the research that I was seeing is not the, the same research in the trees. So maybe chopping down the trees, they don't regen. They don't regen, sorry to get your hopes up there. Wow, there's like two. Okay, but it's right off this, right off this. How many more do I have? Any more in there? No. Okay, let's go down, get the copper, so I can build the inhibitor. I need to fix that path right there. And right there. Okay, there's copper right here, so let's go get this copper. Jump on out. Do a little copper mining. Oh, mining for copper. Give me some copper so I can have an inhibitor. Yes, indeed, -er. It's so awesome, -er. Yeah, might as well take a bunch, right? Never know. We're gonna need copper again. In fact, I think the wind turbine takes copper. So okay, I can try to smooth some of this out. Since I'm still kind of a dork with the smoothing tool. All right, that's pretty decent. How many coppers did I get? Four. Good. That's perfect. One for the inhibitor. And one for other things. I hope this stuff doesn't keep growing. I don't understand why it's growing. I'll widen that out. Clear this path out. Widen that out so I can have a nice little slope down. Let's go get this research over here. I guess we can pick up this uh, thruster. I don't really have need for the thruster. I, I really don't know what the thruster is for. Maybe you guys. I mean, other than like, I've seen people do videos where they've stood on top of the thruster and they 
tried to fly into the sky or something like that. Uh, that's okay. I, I don't really have that much interest in doing that. Oh, we're going to have to cut down this tree. Oh, sorry, bud. You're coming down. Mighty Midnight, the chopping man. Wow, look how deep that one is. Ah, timber! No, get out of the way! Okay. That's a new one. Crashed my vehicle. I didn't, haven't seen that one before. There's one over there. Yeah, let's go get these. We were really lucky last time. It's very encouraging. Last time. It's very, very encouraging. Uh, did we get the thruster? It was right over here, right? Oh, yeah, see, you know what? I don't even care. Oh, it's over there, yeah. It's over there, I don't care, but I'm gonna go on towards it anyways. Might as well pick it up. It's an artifact. I can take it with me. Say, I found a thruster! Yes, I did! Let's put it on the front. <laughs> Just be dumb. Put it on the front, shoot me backwards. See this plant? It does. Aha, uh -huh. this plant does have some research. Yes, not all these plants do, but this one does. So thank you, plant. I appreciate you giving to the research fund of Midnight Stronia. I don't know why I said Midnight Stronia, but it's midnight. Yes, it is. There's one right here. Oh, oh right next to another Sputnik. We've got Sputniks all over the place. All right, let's jump on out. Try to grab that one. Nope, can't grab that one. Too high. Tree's coming down. Tree is coming down town. There we go. Which way are you going to fall? You're going to fall away from me. That's good. That is really good. I can get... Thank you. It's weird. I didn't think I was going to be able to get that for a second. Okay, we have one more spot. We have one more spot, so we could take this other piece, and we could take the thruster. I suppose. Let's take this greeny one. Green and red one. I hear a storm. Do I hear a storm? No, it's my mind playing tricks on me. Alright, where's the... There's the base. Always get scared. Losing the base. I totally lost my base once. I just was like driving on. This is like the first time... Yeah, uh, one of the episodes, one of the first series that I played. And yeah, wasn't really used to Astroneer yet, didn't really know, not really thinking about the curvature of the planet I'm on. So here I go, I get my vehicle, I'm like, woohoo, I'm driving, I'm driving. Just out for the Sunday drive, and uh, I turn around, it's like, uh, where's my base? Base, nowhere to be found, totally gone. It took me hours Literally hours to come back and find my base. I did find it eventually, but it took me hours. All right, what are we gonna get on this one? Yeah, uh, thanks. Really appreciate the power cells. I, I don't know what I would do without the power cells. Let's just go ahead and stick the power cells on the power facility and enjoy, I guess, the power that we're getting because we're not getting it from anywhere else. So let's put some organic on here. I have a couple more organic. That I could use later. Okay. Pop this one open. Alright, we're starting to get into... Oh, you found me. And I don't think I have anything else for you. Kind of deal. Oh, that's some... Um, get that inhibitor. Jones in for the inhibitor. Wait, once you get the inhibitor, you're not going to want to go back. What else can I do with copper? Uh, what was that? Generator. Wide mod inhibitor. Generator, wide mod inhibitor. We're going to create the inhibitor really fast. Before I forget about it. And we're going to equip it. We're going to do a double whammy. Oh... For those of you who have not played, you can, uh, if you don't have any of the mods, you can stick more uh, resources on the side of your train tool, which is cool. Alright, what am I going to get? Drillhead. 
Uh, these are all good. I, you know, I can't complain. The drill head, though, uh, I, this might be a defect, but I noticed when I went to the radiated planet, I was able to get the rare resources. The rare resources without the drill head. I think that's probably a defect that they introduce. I don't know if they want to do that, but. All right, let's see. Come on, baby, give me something. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Solar panel, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Let me have all this compound. Give me this stuff. Solar panel. I don't have a large battery, but okay. At least I've got solar panels now. Oh, that's so huge. Do you have anything else? Oh, I have one more. I didn't realize I had one more. Let's get that guy. Let's build this solar panel, too. Nice. Well, that'll help the base during the day. It'll help the base... Um, keep the power up, but I, it's not going to help me if I don't have any batteries. I need some batteries. Ooh, another research item. Nice. Storage. Store it. Habitat. Okay. Habitat's needed. I have the spaceship, so now I have the habitat. Beautiful. All right. Well, we're going to call this episode. It's kind of got, gone over a couple minutes anyways, but I really appreciate you guys joining me. Thank you so much. We're kind of getting lucky. That that change in 158 with the research, it's huge. It's huge, and it's greatly appreciated. Thanks, Dev, for coming to the realization that that was something that is truly needed because it was. The, the way that it was done before, I'm sorry. It just, you know, I, I appreciate you guys... Um, trying to be innovative and and work on some really cool stuff but um yeah that didn't really cut it did it it's it's too hard it's it's too difficult to try to go around and look it over and over and over again so all right oh look at this this is the inhibitor look at this oh so beautiful and they said that in this patch that uh, most of the rocks will uh, automatically disappear but look at that. you can clear a path out of here no longer have to worry about this nasty rockness. Just get that all cleared out. If I wanted to go harvest some plants without uh, terraforming the ground, oh, I can totally do it. And with this wide mod on, man, this is the cat's meow right here. You kidding me? Look at this. Just chewing this up. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. Yeah, if there's any mod that you get, man, the first one you got to get is this one. This mod is the mod to have. Now, if I get storage, if I could just get some storage, I would be okay. I can stick a storage on my shut or on my truck. Now that the truck is not acting weird. And, um, and I could take a bunch of this organic down. I could take this generator with me. And I don't have to worry about power at all. Though there's plenty of power down there. You know, don't, don't get me wrong. There's a ton of power in the caves. You just got to go get it. It's around the plants. It's on the walls. It's everywhere. So it's not like you're going to run out of power. Those people that say, I need power, I need power, they're just not looking around. It's all over the place. What are you talking about? All right. Well, hey, guys, thank you. Thank you. I said it already. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Please remember to hit that like button if you like the video and subscribe to our channel so you can stay on top of all of our latest video releases. I release content almost every day. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.